Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're finally here. Ah, you look so confused. You don't know why you're here. Yes, yes, I used a spell on you. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't escape from this mystery forest unless you help me. What you gonna do? Continue. By the way, who are you? I'm Ziggy. Ziggy, yes, I knew it. Now, good luck. You've no time to waste been so long I'd okay so I'm not in the middle of combat or anything uh, ridiculous uh, let's go see if they've got new weapons and new grands which I think they do which I won't be able to afford what's up boy we guarantee all items to be in good condition what do you want to buy uh, I think I got all this already I think I got all that already Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to Shining Force. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played this, I feel like. But I couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it die. Uh, what's this little kid saying? Anything exciting? A war against the devils? No, no, I don't want to go. No one's asking you to. Jeez. So if I remember correctly, we were going to blow up uh, a pathway to travel to a different part of Paramecia. And there might be uh, combat involved, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like I already dealt with that combat scenario. So here we are. Okay. Road! Road! Yes? You know about devices like this, right? Ziggy has a cannon and some dynamite here. Can you remove these rocks? Uh, okay, let me try. Road gets the dynamite from Ziggy. Stand back! Ready? Kablams! Perfect, we can now go to North Permisia. Wow, this cannon is great! Oh, and then he's checking out the cannon. Look at him checking it. I, I can attend to the battles with this weapon. Ziggy, do you need this anymore? May I use it, huh? Wow, now I can fight alongside you. Rode the Bergen has joined the force. Sorry, the fires. So now I have another brass gunner option, but I think two archers is probably enough, and uh, we're going to go with Elric and uh, May. May, I believe, is our top-leveled character right now. Road is hooked. <laughs> okay, Ziggy, let's go to North Permisia. And then they jump because they're excited, and off we go. And is there a fight in the cave? You bet there is. So we got ourselves a little good old-fashioned cave fight going on right here. Let's see what we got. So some skellies, some dark snipes. Looks like they're uh, more poised to just sort of come out of nowhere on me here. Although I haven't really figured out the layout here. I guess there's only one linear path. Is it just skeletons and snipers? Oh, there's a couple of demons. Ah, a new bishop. I don't remember if I fought that bishop last time. So we'll 
might as well just move every melee combatant I have over to the uh, west here. Even Mighty Ziggy, who if he dies, we lose the game. Rick, uh, who we're going to be promoting to a Pegasus Knight. Chester the Paladin. Kazan, who we promoted to Wizard. I think that Dark Soldier might be a new character. Tyrant is our sorcerer. Who, if you don't remember, does a lot of damage. He's pretty swell. Alright, skeleton coming right after Ziggy. Ooh, 13 damage. Those skeletons still hitting hard. Even after all this time. But no matter, we're moving up Jaha. And here comes May. Who can actually hit the guy. Bang. 12 damage on the Skellington. She gains 4 experience points. Old Slady. Peter can't quite reach the uh, Skeleton, which is kind of drag. Sarah, likewise, can't reach the Skeleton. Nobody can reach the skeleton. Oh, and there's a now a dark sniper around. Shooting Jaha, of all people. Wham. He takes seven damage. updating that stream information. Okay, where were we? So, um, May can still hit him, so we might as well do that. She's far enough back that I don't really have to feel bad about her positioning. Skeleton takes 13 damage, is down to 5 hit points, which should make him an easy target for whoever we decide to throw at him next. But instead of attacking the skeleton, I'm going to have Ziggy hit this Dark Sniper. Critical hit, 23 damage, 30 experience points for Ziggy. Uh, Rick will attack the skeleton. He deals a mere 2 damage. Gets a second attack, but only another 2 damage. Skeleton counterattacks him for 8. Rick earns 5 experience points and doesn't level up. Geralt, unable to hit anything, moves in. Tywin will cast Dao. He does 10 damage to the sniper and absolutely annihilates the skeleton with a critical hit for 14. He drops a medicinal herb that Tyler begins to pick up. Hooray for that. Poof. Ziggy gets damaged by 13. We gotta heal up old Ziggs. Chester moves in for a critical hit of 10 damage against the skeleton, a new skeleton. Slade goes in to assassinate the sniper, which should still be worth some good experience, I would think. He does 17 damage, hits 49 experience, and levels up to 5, HP up by 2, MP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. Oh, I skipped Sarah's turn for some stupid reason. Skeleton is attacked by Peter. Peter deals 14 damage. Elric moves in to take a shot at the skeleton and deals 8 damage, enough to take it out. Skeleton is defeated. Elric earns 38 experience points and doesn't level up.
Skeleton attacks Geralt for 14 damage. And Jaha moves in, dealing 13 to that same skeleton. Oh, there's a treasure chest in this cave. Let's try to remember that on our way out. Uh, Rick is not going to do anything, really. So we'll just park his ass up there. I don't know if there is a central bad guy that if I take them out, we win the fight. But it's nothing too taxing here, so I feel like we should just get as much experience as we can. The Dark Sniper attacks Sarah. Deals 22 damage. That's a lot. Maybe the Dark Soldier is the uh, boss. Okay, so now we send up May. May is going to shoot the Dark Sniper, because F that guy. She deals 16 damage. Gains 16 experience points. Tyron, unable to get a shot in with Dow. Ziggy moves around and does 17 damage to the sniper, bringing it down to 5 hit points. Chester moves in to polish it off. Dealing 12 damage, Dark Sniper was defeated. Chester levels up to 5, HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility increased by 2. Jaha attacks the skeleton again. Knocks it down to 2 hit points. He earns 15 experience and levels up to 6. HP up by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 2. Mm, we can feed this kill to anyone. Do we want to? Well, skeletons are kind of weak, so we'll give it to Geralt. Rather than take any more damage. He's damaged by 14. Geralt gained 44 experience, but didn't level up. These guys sure don't level up so good. Uh, okay, now we're on to Elric's turn. Vlad the Bunny says, The Return of the Farce and the Return of Vlad. Good to see you, buddy. Sarah's going to heal Bowie with a heal three, which should bring him back to full life. Ziggy recovered 26 hit points, as promised. Sarah's got some major healing ahead of her. Move Slade and Peter up. Is this where those enemies are going to... No, we already fought those guys. Okay. Okay, getting sniped. Doc Sniper's attack. Damage by 15. Those Dark Snipers didn't come to play. But nobody can reach him, so it could be better. All right. Skeleton attacking May. Thump, 17 damage. They're really going after her now. Luckily, that lesser demon can't get anywhere near me. Uh, we'll have Slade attack the skeleton, because he can reach it. I was considering casting magic. Oh, a critical hit of 20 damage on the skeleton. Slade earns 20 experience points. Pretty good. Pretty good. Sarah is back on her healing duties. She throws a big heal out on May. This might not even heal her fully. 
Oh, but it does. 32 hit points restored to May. Sarah earns 20 experience points. And now it's time to light these fools up. Peter, swooping and diving, goes after the Dark Sniper from behind. He deals 18 damage, earns 24 experience points. Elric moves in to take a pot shot at the skeleton. Boom. Does 9 damage. Elric earns 9 experience points. Good stuff. Okay, May. May, 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 May. May is going to take a shot at this dark sniper and hopefully not finish it off. Takes it down to 4 hit points. That's good. She earned 16 experience points. The sniper moves in to shoot Sarah, and if I remember my math correctly, will totally take her out. And he does. That's not good. Deals 19 damage, and my only healer is down. With a simple Blaze 1 spell, the mighty wizard Kazan destroys the Dark Sniper. Damaged by 7, Dark Sniper was defeated. Kazan earns 49 experience points and doesn't level up. What a B. Jarl moves in to kill off the skeleton. Once again, I maybe should have saved that for a different character, but it's too late for that now. 45 experience, Jarl levels up to 6, gains 2 HP, 2 attack, 2 defense, and 2 agility. A fantastic level up for Geralt. Lesser Demon flies in to attack May and deals 22 damage. Gotta really work on that positioning with May. You don't want to have your archers out, even if they're centaurs. Jaha's gonna make it alright, hopefully. He runs in and hits the demon for 19 damage and gains 14 experience points. Lesser Demon hit by 6 from Rick. I don't remember if Chester has a spear. He evidently does not. We're going to use Slade's Catan magic on the Lesser Demon. Demons are usually resistant to fire, but I believe that's non-elemental damage. Lesser Demon got damaged by 15 Slade earns 50 experience points and levels up to 6. Good job, Slade. HP up by 2, MP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. A solid level up for Slade. So far we've only lost Sarah in this fight, which is still a drag, but can't be helped. Okay, so there's a demon to the south of us. I wonder if it's going to get over here or not in time to help fight us. We're going to move north. So we've got no healing options outside of medicinal herbs, and I don't know if I have any except for the one I picked up. Oh, we do have enemies to the west of us. Peter gets shot for 16. Once again, May is out of position, but she deals 17 damage to the Dark Sniper and earns 18 experience points. Ziggy moves up to go help. Chester also moves up to go help. Rick moves into the south of the Dark Sniper and attacks. He deals 5 damage and earns 6 experience points. Jaha can't reach it. Peter. Peter will occupy a space that he can't normally anybody else couldn't occupy and knock the sniper down to one hit point. He becomes level seven, HP up by two, attack up by two, defense up by two, agility up by one. Decent. Slade.
Slade will assassinate that Dark Sniper. A critical hit for 26 when he only needed to deal one. He earns 49 experience points. And he pops it. Skeleton goes the long way around to go after Rick. Deals 15 damage. Rick is hurt. Dark Bishop using Blast, level 3. Deals 14 damage to Slade. Chester will move up and start beating on this bishop, who may not get to heal himself before he dies, thanks to him just acting. Super slow Geralt moves in. Actually, we kind of need to cover this side, if I'm not mistaken. Rick is also going to take a swing at the bishop. Deals four damage and gets a second attack for another four. He earns ten experience. The slowest of demons <laughs> slowly flies into uh, attack position. The slade's going to attack the skeleton, which is at full life. He deals 17 damage and earns 11 experience. May takes a shot at the skeleton and deals enough damage to take it out. 15 damage, drops a medicinal herb, and May picks it up. That's awesome. She can now heal herself a bit. Jaha, moving in to spank this dark bishop. Whammy, 16 damage. And Peter for the finish. Damage by 17, Dark Bishop was defeated. 43 experience points, and nobody has been killed still but Sarah. So we got this group of three to the northeast left, and there's one single demon coming at us from the south. Maybe we'll keep Geralt and May on that one. What's that? Oh, okay. It's just Rick. Did Elric hit anything? No. Not yet. Pretty close, though. Glad the Bunny says, off and on in the chat, I'm playing Radiant Historia on 3DS. That's the game that Altair is writing a guide for, yes? Okay, May can't quite reach that shot, so we're not going to try. Okay, Peter can reach... Uh, those enemies now, but he won't. Oh, the demon comes right in for a blaze spell on Jahan Ziggy. Bam. 18 damage. Jaha also takes quite a bit. 16. This demon moves up. Does the same thing to Geralt. It won't take him out, but he's going to be real hurt. Two characters might not be enough to down the 40 hit points worth of demon. I might have miscalculated. Uh, Ziggy moves in against the lesser demon, and, well, he does 20 damage, and the Ket's counterattacked for another 9 damage. Gotta be careful there, we don't want Ziggy dying. And that's happened a lot in this, uh, <laughs> series of streams. Elric deals 15 damage, not enough to take it out, he gains 15 experience. 
Oh, the bishop moves in with an aura spell to heal that demon. But it's only aura level one, so it won't do a lot of healing. Vlad the Bunny says, yeah, I never played the original version, so it's pretty neat. Is it bad if you didn't play the original version? Oh, I should have casted Blaze. Oh, well. Ziggy attacks the demon for another 18 damage, earns 13 experience, levels up to 7, HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility I didn't see, probably 1. Oh, the demon gets another attack before Geralt gets to act and casts Blaze 2 again, Blaze 3 I should say. So he's now exhausted. And the new uh, melee enemy is going to walk right up to my wizard and, oh, do nothing. Amazing. Chasm dodges his attack. Chester moves in to hit the bishop. The bishop will now only heal the bishop, probably. Rick moves in for the kill on the lesser demon and does it. Does six damage. Demon was defeated. Rick earns 49 experience points. Doesn't level up. All the times these characters don't level up, I tell you. Critical hit from Jaha and the Dark Soldier for 15. Jaha gets 16 experience points. Uh, the cannon man moves in to shoot the bishop, dealing 11 damage. Oh, he gets a second attack. Another 11 damage. Elric earned 29 experience points and did not level up. Now, May's in a bit of a pickle here, isn't she, gang? Uh, Geralt was supposed to be her front line, and now he's dead. And while she does a whopping 26 damage to that demon and levels up to 8, HP up by 1, attack up by 1, defense up by 1, agility up by 1, that was an awful level up, I would like to point out. Uh, despite that good fortune, she uh, has next to no hit points and will probably almost certainly die. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Ka Ta Tyron, Tyron is that character's name, casts a Dao for 18 damage. The Dark Soldier's down to 2 life. Slade moves in for the kill on the Dark Bishop. Glad the Bunny says, I don't think so. It adds voice acting to the cutscenes, and I think it has extra story content. Slade levels up to 7, HP up by 2, MP up by 1, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 2. Much better level up. Poof, the Dark Bishop is down. Peter goes in for the kill on the Dark Soldier. He deals 12 damage, and Dark Soldier was defeated. Peter gains 40 experience points. And the battle continues. So we gotta kill that last demon, mofo. Oh, luckily May will do that right now. So we lost two guys in that fight. Geralt and Sarah. Lesser demon was defeated. May earned 16 experience points. Now we gotta go loot that chest. Siggy opened the chest and found a fairy tear. He received a fairy tear. Is that the only chest in this miserable cave? It would appear to be. So I don't remember if I get to go to a town next uh, before I get into another fracas. But hopefully I do. And if I don't, I'm going to have to cast a grass or something. Oh, look, there's a town right here. Keto's on the southern edge of North Parmesia. Thanks, man. Look at all these signs. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, Church is closed. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, Village of Keto. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, Machula ignores you. Where did you come from, boy? From South Parmesia, really? The tunnel to the south is blocked. No, I unblocked it. Duh. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, No weapon or item sales. Devils. Hey, listen to me. Okay. Pakalon was always a good customer for us. They bought a lot. But now we can't sell our weapons because of the devils. Annoying devils. Okay, well, what if I'd said no? 
Hey, I found some healing water in this barrel. That's pretty, pretty good. Oh. Sorry, I can't open my church for you. Please understand. Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. Oh, good. He's still doing church stuff, even though he can't be in the church. So, we bring back Sarah. And we bring back Geralt. Which costs us 510 gold between the two of them. Which is about a monster kill and a half. Could be worse. It's unusually hot. It's Machula, as sick as I've heard. I don't know. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, You doubt the punishment? Devils. Looked in the barrel, found some bright honey. Oh, this is a freaking great town for barrel treasure. I love treasure. Longtime viewers of the stream will know uh, I love treasure. Ziggy investigated the sign. It reads, Don't go out or you'll be punished. Devils. So, I'm guessing the devils have already been through here, and they put up a bunch of signs. The devils forbade us to go out! Sure they did, Fatso. Sure they did. Oh, the devils won't let me go outside. Everybody else is outside. Okay, so that seems to be it for this town. Maybe... Yeah, looks like it. Oh, there's something to the north there. You all saw that, right? I'm not blind. There was a bridge up to the north. I don't know how to get there, though. Hmm. Is this the pro stream you turned in to see? Let's see. I'm going to go around uh, this wise and see if there's a way to access that area. Oh. Oh. That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Blast! I hate devils. Ah, you a customer? Wow. It's a secret, okay? I have very good weapons. <laughs> do you want to buy one? Oh, you do? Okay, come to my shop. I don't think I can afford very good weapons. Yes. What's up, boy? We guarantee all items to be in good condition. What do you want to buy? Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on there. Buster Sword. Ooh, a javelin is probably a good buy. Large axe, robin arrow, assault shell. I'm sure I have all of these already. Maybe not Indra Staffs, and maybe not Javelins. Let's see. We're going to give a Javelin to Chester. And what about Indra Staffs? Staves. Well, they are better, but as it was pointed out to me last time I played Shining Force uh, on stream, that the Guardian Staffs that these characters currently are holding uh, increase their defense. So, I don't know that I would necessarily care about three more attack points on a wizard. Especially for the outlandish sum of money they intend to charge me for it. So, uh, not that worth it. But I'm glad I went all the way around town to find him. Oh, and we immediately get attacked. Answer me! Where are you going? I, uh... Were you going to South Bermesia to get help, right? I, um... Paladins of Pakalon are cowards. Higgins, don't you have any pride, wimp? 
Shut up. Mr. Higgins is the bravest soldier in the world. I can defend myself. Come on, you half-breed. Are you afraid of me? I'll turn my back to you. Now run away, cowards. You've gone too far. Oh, and he teleported at the last second. Oh, and then he got killed by a lizardman. Oh! Poof. Pakalon soldiers have no honor. They attack where my back is turned. Huh. Oh, this guy should technically have a different voice. What? If Mr. Higgins was not ill, you'd be history. Oh, is Higgins ill? In that case, you can try and take me. I can no longer put up with these insults. No, no. Oh, he got demoned. Grew. Poof. You look so sad, Higgins. You're not just a normal devil soldier. You're right, Higgins. I see why you're the leader of the Pakalon army. This guy is the saltiest. I'm Gasp, an advisor for Zeon. Oh, it's convenient that we heard his introduction. How did you know my name? I know everything. Now, tell me the reason why you're keeping me alive. <laughs> you're smart. Oh. What did you do? I can't. My body won't. I came here to borrow your body. <laughs> Welcome, our new leader. Stop. Who said that? <gasps> Force from the south? How? Where did you come from? We're from Grand Seal. But that's on the other. I'd better leave. Devil soldiers, stop that force from Grand Seal. And then he vanishes. Leaving the devils to do his dirty work. Okay, so we got some new enemies in this fight. Let's go have a look-see at those. Now, I believe we're getting close to Pakalon, which is where the uh, Pegasus wing that we need to promote Rick will be found. So that's good. So that's Higgins, and judging by his uh, face portrait you can get and capital letters, you can tell that he will be joining the force, or the farce. But we probably won't use him. His direct competitor would be uh, Chester. And uh, the backup competitor would be uh, Rick, who technically he's probably better than right now, but won't be after we promote him to Pegasus Knight. So this is a wizard. They're a new enemy for us. They can cast Blaze 3, and uh, they're basically a cloth-type unit. Meanwhile, we got a Lizardman, uh, which is going to hit us pretty hard. And already we're seeing more Dark Soldiers in the crew they're just regular melee enemies now but at least we're not in a cave this time okay rick can't actually move anywhere <laughs> the sooner we can get rick promoted the better slade pops out of the forest like a christmas ham Geralt is also clear We need to make sure Sarah doesn't die too early this fight. Or at least try to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, Ziki can't reach anyone either. Chester's back to a two-range character. That's good. But he still can't hit anyone right now. Get everyone out of the forest and mountains as quick as we can. Ooh, pardon me. Okay, 
gasp there. No, spoiler alert. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> this is going to hurt. Zuki got damaged by 15. Jaha got damaged by 18. Kazan got damaged by 17. And Slave got damaged by 15. Womp womp. I don't remember what I was saying. <sighs> Pardon me again. All right, well, we're going to try Blaze 3 on this guy. It's not going to be as effective as it was on us. Oh, it does 18 damage. That could be worse. Kazan gains 22 experience and becomes level 4. HP up by 2, MP up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 2. Meg can't hit anybody this turn. Dark Sniper moves in to take a shot at Kazan. This will probably put him out of commish. Wump. 15 damage. Kazan is exhausted. So sleeps. Poof. He's done. Geralt moves in to rake some claws over a lesser demon. He only deals 18 damage and earns 13 experience points. Ziggy goes in for the kill. Wham. 21 damage. Lesser demon is defeated. 30 experience points to Ziggy. Chester's going to try his new javelin out on that bishop for 13 damage. He earns 16 experience points. Rick still cannot escape the forest mountain area. Someday he'll be good. I promise. <sighs> Slade moves in to attack this Dark Bishop. He deals 19 damage and earns 14 experience points. Elric does nothing. Jaha attacks the so far undamaged Dark Sniper, dealing 22 damage on a critical hit. That's pretty good. Peter goes in to take out this bishop before it can heal itself or the sniper that I'm also pretty keen on taking out. He gains 43 experience and levels up. HP up by 2, attack up by 2, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. Any level up that's six points or better, I guess, is what makes me happy. Dao being cast by Tyron. I think this will finish off this goblin thing. It does. 22 damage, Dark Sniper defeated. Tyron gains 49 experience, levels up to 3, HP up by 2, MP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. And learns Apollo, a new summon. I think there's four summons in the game, and you just sort of learn them by level. And Tyron, uh, of the three characters that are can be summoners, uh, Tyron gets them the fastest. Which is why I elected to make him the summoner character. So it was more likely that we'd actually see all the summons in the stream. You're welcome. Oh, Rick. <laughs> you slow little bastard. Okay, so we need to do a bit of healing uh, with Sarah. <clears throat> We're going to keep our units nice and bunched together. So first we're going to do a heal one on Jaha. Sarah does a mighty kung fu kick, and Jaha recovers 18 hit points. She earns 10 experience. 
good, but not great. Lizard men in the uh, first Shining Force game carried uh, flaming axes that could cast blaze if they used them. Which, if you managed to get them to drop one, was pretty nifty. Because then you could cast blaze with whoever you wanted to. Looks like I'm getting pincered in from the sides here. We want to keep these two characters on hand for healing spells. Rick is finally joining the party. Lots of lesser demons over the water there. I gotta remember about that. Just got some soda in my beard and on my shirt. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Jaha is all healed up so he can go back on the front lines. No one ever wants Tyrant on the front lines. We're only casting heal level 1 because that's all we really need to cast in this instance. And the um, savings <laughs> cannot be more highly praised. Yeah, so we definitely got some collapse in happening here. Uh, the first shot is going to be a dark sniper on Chester, who takes 16 damage. Oh, he gets a second attack in on Chester. A heavy attack for 22. Chester is real hurt. But, as we've seen me do so many times, the goblin archer is now out of position. So my forces should be able to take him out, starting with May doing 19 damage with one shot to the archer. Oh no. Dark Soldier runs right up and takes Chester out. 23 damage. That's a heavy hit. Chester's exhausted. Excuse me. Having little in the way of choices, we move Slade in, who needed to be healed, actually. He deals 11 damage, which isn't great. Rick moves up. Uh, let's see our new summon. Ka Tyron casts Apollo. Dark Soldier got damaged by 25 and was defeated. Summons are pretty badass. Tyron gains 49 experience points. And poof goes that guy. Jaha can't quite reach. But Peter can. Peter does 20 damage and Dark Sniper was defeated. He earns 45 experience points, but doesn't level up. Uh, I don't want to move Elric too far ahead. So we've lost two guys this fight yet again. Uh, we've lost Chester and we've lost Kazan. And two guys is not like... A lot to lose. I recognize that. Slade is really far out ahead of everybody, and I need him healed, so we're going to kibosh that a bit. Dark Soldier hits Jaha for 14 damage. Kid stuff, I says. But he brings a buddy in to do another 15 damage. Jaha gets a counterattack on that guy for 5 and gains 5 experience points. Geralt joins the fight immediately, going in to attack the now damaged Dark Soldier. He deals 10 damage. Rick, almost in the fight. Peter moving in to attack the undamaged Dark Soldier. He deals 15 damage, earns 9 experience points.
Ziggy can't reach anybody. Elric can't reach anybody. My little healing factory is going to heal Slade. Karate kick! 15 uh, heal is done to Slade. 10 experience points to Sarah. She doesn't level up. Uh, we're moving Tyron in for another Apollo cast, who is more damage. They're equal at 20. So this should take out another guy. Do, 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 do. 25 damage. Dark Soldier was defeated. Tyron earns 50 experience and levels up to 4. HP up by 1, MP up by 2, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. Pretty great. But now... Oh! For some reason, it elected not to cast Blaze 3 and kill Jaha, as well as many other people. He just went straight for Jaha, who is exhausted, and that does suck. I've lost two frontliners and a wizard now. But Geralt moves in to attack the Dark Soldier. Let's see if we can take him out before he gets another turn. He does 11 damage and earns 12 experience points. Oh... Goodness gracious, Tyron gets another attack before anybody else, so I'm going to make sure that he takes out this soldier with Dao. 21 damage, Dark Soldier was defeated. Tyron earns 49 experience points. He's just getting so much experience. It's quite pleasing. Ziggy leads the charge on the Lesser Demon. He deals 21 damage and earns 10 experience points. Slade, fully patched up and healed, goes in to probably finish the demon off. Yep, 19 damage, lesser demon defeated, he earns 28 experience points. Poof. So that leaves us with 9 characters of our 12 to go up against the main force of this fight. Just going to have a little look around the battlefield, make sure that there's nothing I missed. So we got a demon converging in from the northwest there. And then this whole main little group. So it's basically nine on, I think, about seven. It's probable that if I move this way, I can siphon off at least one of those demons. Goad it into attacking my troops. Don't want to put my cannons out. Yeah, so that demon's going to come at me. The other one's probably going to assist the main force. Who are now pulling back into the desert. All right, we're more or less regrouped here. Tyron, regrettably, is uh, almost completely out of MP, so he won't be able to contribute but a single cast in this next uh, combat, which is too bad, really, because he's been doing really good work. <laughs> Oh, Higgins. I'm not even a little excited to add you to my party. Okay, that demon is still not quite within reach, but I'm going to send Peter out to deal with him. Actually, I'm going to start sending people out to deal with him of all walks of life. Lesser demon is attacked by Peter. Gets damaged by 23... Oh no. So the wizard moves in to cast Blaze 3. Geralt damaged. Tyrant damaged by 15. And I guess that means we're fighting. Oh! Dark Sniper is going to take Tyrant right out. 13 damage. That's another character I'm done. Perhaps ill advised, but uh, Ziggy attacks the Dark Sniper for 24 damage and gains 25 experience points. Geralt moves in to hopefully finish him off. 
and does 17 damage. Dark Sniper was defeated. Geralt gains 49 experience points. Have to kind of split my forces here. Rick attacks the wizard for 2 damage. No one's impressed. Demon moves in to join the main force. May shoots the wizard, doing far more damage. Demon moves in to attack May in the back. So in the end, he absolutely did join the main group here. So it's going to be a 7 on 8 battle here now. 22 damage from Slade to the demon. He levels up to 8. 2 HP, 1 MP, 1 attack, 2 defense. Not the greatest level up. But it's a six, so I guess I'll take it. Uh, Peter almost flies into attack, and then I remember not bunching up is important. Elric takes a shot at the wizard and deals eight damage. He becomes level six, HP up by two, attack up by one, defense up by two, agility up by one. Sarah could heal, but instead I'm going to be greedy and have her go beat up this wizard. Yeah, 15 damage, wizard defeated, Sarah earns 49 experience, levels up to 6, HP up by 2, MP up by 1, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. Good level up. Poof. Only 4 enemies remain. Geralt moves in to attack the Dark Soldier, does 9 damage, becomes level 7, HP up by 2, attack up by 2, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. Oh, time to see what this lizard man can do. He attacks Geralt and does 20 damage. Geralt's still standing. Ziggy moves in to bash the Dark Soldier. He deals 12 damage. Dark Soldier counters Ziggy for 9. Ziggy earns 10 experience points. Slade moves up to attack the lizard man. He deals 14 damage and earns 10 experience points. Oh, <laughs> Rick. Uh, Rick will attack, I guess, the Dark Soldier for, I'm assuming, one damage. Vlad the Bunny asks, how far would you say you are in this game now? I would say I'm at least halfway. Dark Soldier got damaged by one. Rick got damaged or experienced, which is the opposite of damage, by one. Uh, we're about to lose Geralt here. Wump. 20 damage. Geralt is exhausted. Ziggy is dangerously exposed here, but the demon, instead of attacking him, will go to cast Blaze 3 on Sarah and Slade, damaging them each for about 16 damage. May. Moves up, and she's actually going to take a shot at this Dark Bishop. She deals 12 damage, earns 6 experience points. Sarah moves up to hit the Dark Soldier. Now I don't think she's going to take it out. No, 11 damage. Sarah earned 12 experience points. Elric hopefully will be able to finish this guy off. Boom. Six damage. Dark Soldier was defeated. 46 experience to Elric. He does not level up. Disappointing. Dark Bishop casts Aura on Lizard Man. Healing it to full. Lesser Demon didn't need it. And the Dark Bishop remains damaged and should be easy pickings. But in the meantime, the Lizard Man hits Sarah for 29 and takes her out of the fight. Bringing us to three versus six. That's all I got left. Six guys. Hmm. Well, at least Ziggy is pretty healed up, so he's not likely to get taken out. Ziggy does 15 damage to Dark Bishop, gains 11 experience points. Lesser Demon swoops in to attack May, who takes her out. 22 damage. May is exhausted. It is now 3 to 5. And one of these is Rick. So that's not good. 
Uh, speaking of which, Rick moves in to do four damage to the Dark Bishop and earns five experience points. Uh, I cannot have that guy healing anybody, so I move Slade up to hit him and take him out. 19 damage, Dark Bishop. Oh, a black ring. If I'm not mistaken, black rings are cursed, but they might be worth it. Poof. Peter moves in to hit the lesser demon. He deals a critical hit and 31 damage. That's a good hit. Gonna move Elric back to shoot this lesser demon, hopefully to death. Bang. 20 damage from Elric to the lesser demon. He earns 45 experience points and again doesn't level up. So now it's only 5 to 1. Lizard Man moves up and hits Slade for 20. Slade gets a counterattack for 6. He earns 4 experience points. Slade will just straight up attack the dude. He deals 11 damage. Gains 8 experience points. Ziggy moving in to also attack the dude. He deals 12 damage, earns 13 experience, and levels up to 8. HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, and agility up by 1. Peter goes in for the finish. Whammy. Lizard Man got damaged by 14. Lizard Man was defeated. Peter earned 41 experience points and levels up to 9. HP up by 3. Attack up by 2. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. Good level up. Poof. We win. We only had 5 guys left. Is he alright? We have to save him before he's possessed by an evil. By an evil? <clears throat> Oh, remember? Remember from the first stream, y'all? The gizmos and their possessing nature? It's a callback. What happened? Oh, I was almost possessed by that devil. Thank you. How can I repay you for your kindness? Are you okay now? Good. May I ask where you are going in such a wounded state? Pakalon, my country. We're fighting against devils. But no country in North Paramecia has enough power to resist them. So I was heading south to find some allies. You don't have to go any further. Then you're from South Paramecia? Yes, Grand Seal. Oh, how lucky. Please come with me to Pakalon. But we have to go to Tristan. Oh, please, I can't return to Pakalon without allies. Maybe when you're done. Okay, I'll go with you. Higgins the Paladin has joined the farce. And he'll just sit in the caravan for the rest of his life. Vlad the Bunny says Slade Craven lives. Slade Craven is a badass, man. You can't just lizard man him to death. But you're injured, Mr. Higgins. No problem. I don't know why, but I'm much better. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go to Pakalon. I thought he was going to let us do our thing. Oh, Higgins. <laughs> you bumbling old fool. I want to go to Pakalon first anyway, because that's where I get my uh, Pegasus wing. But in the meantime, let's go revive our seven dead party members. Sorry, I can't open my church for you. Please understand. Welcome. Your desires will be fulfilled. Yada, yada, yada. Everybody comes back to life. Give me your money that you just earned killing all those devils. I mean, you'd think they wouldn't charge you for resurrection. Vlad the Bunny says Higgins is a Canadian Peter Griffin. I was trying to go for Peter Griffin, but sometimes I kind of lose the, lose the thread. Oh, it's an expensive bunch of revives. Higgins is not my favorite character. I have to be perfectly transparent about that. Anyway, 
So we're doing a lot of revives, but then we're going to push through and hopefully go to Pakalon. All right. So we got our crew all healed back up, and we don't need anything weapon-wise, so we're going to press on. Do, 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 do. Shining force, shining all the way to the bank. Let's get some money for our people. Gotta kill monsters and steal their wealth. It's a documented system that's worked in fantasy for years. Oh, look at this. We got ourselves a dried out river. That's uh, a bad portent. Looks like, uh, well, I mean, it is a desert surrounding it, so it could be perfectly normal and natural, but uh, I'm going to guess that it's evil afoot. Uh, Vlad the Bunny says, how about Iggins from Invader Zim? I have to be honest, I've only watched an odd episode or two of Invader Zim, so I don't know what the voices are like. But I do not mind you guys making requests. Oh, now you know what? This is Pakalon right here. Okay, I gotta do a quick aside here, gang, to uh, just make sure we don't miss that Pegasus wing. Sorry, guys. I know this isn't the most fun, but, uh, oh, so it's in the actual castle. I have to find the Pegasus Wing, and I think I need to go through a fight in order to do that. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Maybe no fight. This doesn't look like the right spot. Oh, but this is. Ziggy investigated the area. Oh. Yeah, this is the hardest one to find, really. Glad the Bunny says, I was just asking thoughts on Iggins since you dislike Higgins. I see. Uh, well, I have nothing against Iggins. Pegasus Wing. Pass the Pegasus Wing to Sarah. Let's go right outside and promote Rick. And hopefully, this long nightmare of him not doing anything good will be over. I'm hungry. Okay. So I guess all these centaurs are starving to death because of the drought. Ooh, a pot. We all know that that's going to have goodies in it for us for sure. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to give the Pegasus Wing to the person you intend to use it on. But we're going to do it anyway. Oh, Rick, with your pox-marked face. Looking for that church, folks. Surely you centaurs are not uh, godless heathens and don't have ors or, uh, churches. That would make me very sad for your race. Not that I'm particularly religious myself, mind you, but... Churches clearly serve an important function in this game that have nothing to do with religion, and it's resurrecting my people. Uh-huh, there we go. Welcome, your desire will be fulfilled. You're damn right it is going to be fulfilled. Nobody's dead. Oh, right. I wanted to promote Rick. 
promo. The light blesses Knight Rick with the class of Pegasus Knight. Da da da. Da 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 da. So now that'll give him the ability to fly, which uh, will say never hinder him from getting out of a forest, desert, or mountain area again. But on top of that, uh, he should be able to now equip weapons that are promotion grade. So, oh, and we're going to, since we're doing this, going to promote Janet to a sniper. Remember Janet? I don't. <laughs> I certainly don't remember what her voice is, and I'm glad I don't have to know. She got the class of Snip. Successfully promoted to Snip. Okay, so everybody is now promoted. We're going to have to probably feed some kills to Rick. Okay. Let's go visit our local weapon shop. And just see if there's anything worth buying here. Uh, what's up, boy? What indeed, friend? Oh, there are indeed new weapons of worth here, including swords, which is going to be super expensive. But first, let's get a javelin for Rick, who will get a whopping extra 10 damage. Okay, I can only afford one sword. <laughs> it's expensive having to revive people constantly. Wow, Slade actually has a heavier damage than uh, Ziggy, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to have to sell his sword first. Actually, if I sell two of those swords, I can probably afford two. Also, I can get rid of that heavy lance. Uh... Yeah, I can get two. But let's just make sure there's not something I want more. Great shot is pretty tempting. We're going to have to do some fundraising here. So we need two more swords, one for Slade, one for Jaha. And then we also need two great shots, one for Elric and one for May. Um, not really much to be done about that. So we're going to do two swords. Eh. We'll get May a new weapon, because she is definitely one of the baddest-ass characters in the crew right now. Despite her good, cheery centaur looks. Sell her assault shell. So we need two more swords and another shell. We'll have to remember that. Okay, so we've done all that. Let's go talk to, like, the king or something. I committed a sin. I abandoned the people of Moon to protect the Parmesia continent. Wee. Higgins asked you to drop by here. Thank you. May I ask you a favor? Please save Matula. She's in Tristan. We will be ruined by the drought long before the devils destroy us. Now, I'd like to point out that uh, we were already on our way to Tristan to go see Matula, and Higgins demanded that we come over here to talk to his king, who immediately told us to go to where we were going to go anyway. So thanks a lot, Higgins. I committed a sin. I abandoned the people of Moon. We already talked to him, too. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh, shucks, says Vlad the Bunny. A call back to uh, when they said oh shucks to me. And then he says, 
Michula oblongata. It's been dry here since the devils appeared. They must have done something to the goddess Machula. Boy, Machula sure is the buzzword around here. It's like guaranteed that's where I have to go next or something. So we're probably only going to do one more battle uh, today, folks. I have to be getting going within the next hour. And while I can definitely do one more battle, I probably can't do the usual four. So I just want to give you a heads up before we go to the next fight. Which I'm not exactly sure where it is. No one really told me. I guess we'll assume it's to the north here. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? Don't you know about the restrictions? Even if you didn't know, it's just too bad. And we're fighting. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty close to about halfway through the game, Vlad. There's uh, still some pretty, like, there's still a lot of boss fights uh, ahead. Um, we haven't, like, we just met the first major demon opponent that we're likely to meet, Gasp. Um, I think there's like four such demons that we have to face before we get to Zeon, and they've each got multiple fights, maybe, maybe. Anyway, uh, let's look around these enemies here. Oh, a wyvern. That's new. Is there only one of them? Two of them. And a town. Hmm. Okay, so there's two wyverns. They seem to be the only new enemy. Oh, Dark Sniper taking some shots immediately at uh, Geralt. Dealing 10 damage to him. Ziggy, I don't think, can reach anybody, nor can uh, Slade. But we're just going to start moving them into position. May, on the other hand, can absolutely hit uh, any of these goobers with her new assault shell. Explosions all around. 21 damage. She earned 16 experience points. Tyron move up and cast Apollo. Bang, 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 bang. 23 damage. Dark Sniper was defeated. Tyron earns 49 experience and levels up to 5. HP up by 2. MP up by 2. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 2. That's an 8 point level up and I am a fan of it. Oh, but Dark Soldier moves in and bashes Tyron for 20 damage. It's a good hit, a solid hit. Chester moves in to throw a javelin, and he'll deal eight damage to the Dark Soldier. I gotta remember to sort of feed kills to Rick in this fight. So we'll soften up this Dark Soldier and then try to do just that. Of course, softening him up isn't easy. Elric deals only 6 damage. He levels up to 7. HP up by 1. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 3. Agility up by 1. Gotta be honest, defense on my archer might not be what I wanted. Hmm. Will Peter defeat this guy at 21 hit points? I want to say no. And I'm right. <laughs> Peter deals only 15. Jaha could do it, but I'm not going to let him. Uh, here we go, Rick's turn. Pegasus Knight Rick. Here we go. Hey, got damaged by six. Dark Soldier was defeated. 
Rick earned 49 experience points. Perfect. It's not a lot of damage, but again, he's level 1, so that's not good. Uh, Sarah going in for some heelsies on Tyron. I don't think I've lost anybody yet. This is a good sign. Tyron recovers 18 hit points and is up to 29. So pretty close to full. Those wyverns are ominous. Once again, it looks like I'm going to get pincered in from the side. So, uh, now that everybody is legit promoted on my team, it's time to start wondering how many new characters are actually going to make it on to the Force. I can think of at least one that's pretty much an automatic yes. Maybe two. Um, I'd say, for example, that one of our biggest problems right now... Elric moves in for a shot on the Dark Soldier. He deals seven damage. Earns six experience points. One of our biggest problems right now... Let's see if all this defense pays off. Okay, 15 damage, not bad. One of our biggest problems right now is that we only have one healer, and uh, that's not so good. Um, we should pick up another Master Monk character at some point. Kind of a secret character, so you'll be happy to learn that I know where they live. Uh, Rick does six damage to that Dark Soldier and only gains eight experience points. Peter goes in for the kill. Anyway, having two Master Monks would be good, because they are both uh, frontline worthy, and at the same time they can heal. Uh, that sad-faced guy who would uh, <laughs> abandon an entire village to die is the next healer character we pick up, but he's a Vicar. And while there is a case to be made about Vicars as being good spellcasters, I don't really enjoy them, because they're slow and they don't double as melee combatants. And while Freya is, that's the name of the character, Freya is actually probably maybe the best healer you get in the game, because he automatically has to be a vicar, I'm probably going to overlook him. There's a part of me that says, of course I should just run my hero in here. Start effing up these D's. And why not? We haven't learned any lessons from uh, other times we've played and had Ziggy get killed. Dark Soldier gets 15 damage. Wizard gets 15 damage. Ziggy earns 27 experience points. And this is... Oh, no. The Dark Sniper is going after Geralt. Who gains 12 damage points done to him. Looks like we're not getting collapsed on right away. May moves in to have a shot at uh, Dark Sniper. Does 20 damage. Becomes level 9. HP up by 1. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 1. Agility up by 1. Worst level up ever. Boo. Rick can't reach. Ziggy gets attacked by Dark Soldier. Dark Soldier deals 17 damage. Ziggy is not killed. We're going to leave that Sniper, I hope, for Rick. Nope. Critical hit. 24 damage. Dark Sniper was defeated. Jaha levels up to 7. Womp womp. Poof. 
Okay, we're kind of bunched up, which is bad if that wizard gets a shot on me. Who needs to be healed? Jural needs to be healed. Sarah does a high kick and heals Geralt for 18 hit points. Dark Bishop. Lots of Dark Bishops in this fight. Oh, this isn't good. So four people are going to get nailed with Blaze 3 here. Including Chester, Jaha, Peter, who only gets hit for 8, which is good, and May. Peter seems to have fire resistance now. Well, there's really only one thing for it. Except that's going to kill him, and I would really like to leave him for Rick. So, Tyron summoned Dow. And deals 20 damage to him. And gains 27 experience points. And then this jackass lizard man comes down and hits Sarah for 31 damage. Ow. Uh, we're going to blaze three this mofo. Speaking of blaze three, I am looking forward to a good old fashioned Toby break soon. Well, I mean, technically we're done after this fight anyway. So I guess I really just gave away what I'll be doing after this fight. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, folks. Pay no attention. Rick attacks the wizard and, predictably, kills it. He earns 49 experience points, levels up to 2, HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 1. A decent level up for his first level up as a promoted unit. Ziggy gets to go now. He attacks the Dark Soldier. He deals 12 damage, earns 6 experience points. May moves into position to take out the same Dark Soldier that Ziggy just hit. 12 damage, Dark Soldier was defeated. Er, May earns 13 experience points. Poof. Still haven't engaged with one of those wyverns yet, so that's around the corner for sure. Chester moves in to huck a spear at the lizard man. Deals seven damage. Slade goes in to do some damage as well. He'll probably take this guy out, although he doesn't have the best sword possible and therefore doesn't take him out. He does 15 damage. Uh, do we want to save this kill for Rick? No, we don't want to take any chances. Lizard Man, taken out by Jaha. Jaha earns 49 experience points, but doesn't level up. Geralt. Peter the Phoenix. Have I lost anyone yet? Uh, nope. Sarah's going to heal herself to full with a heal three. Lots of people I can heal. Yep. Recovers 31 hit points, two fairies. Dust in her. 18 experience points, no level up. No level up, no level up. Oh. Tricky Dark Bishop comes in out of nowhere, blasts threes, Peter and May for 14 damage. And then another one comes down and blasts three as jeepers. These bishops are doing the DPS, and it's crazy. 13 damage to Jaha. Heavy attack of 16 to Kazan. And 14 to Geralt. Oh, and let's just do 13 to Elric, shall we? And that eastern flank is also making me nervous. But it's my turn to do stuff now, so we're going to start with a blaze 3 on the Dark Bishop, dealing 14 damage back to him. Kazan earns 17 experience points.
May shoots her Dark Bishop and deals 23 damage. So, you know, they're not going to be much of a, an offensive line here. Slade moves in, being cautious of the enemies to the north and to the east, and deals 16 damage. He gets a second attack, but the Dark Bishop dodges it. Slade earns 8 experience points. Rick moves in to finish off that Dark Bishop. And he does. He deals 12 damage. Dark Bishop was defeated. Rick earns 49 experience points, but doesn't level up. Poof. Ziggy moves in. Straight up decaps that Dark Bishop. Critical hit. 26 damage. Dark Bishop was defeated. 33 experience. Ziggy doesn't level up. Okay. Oh, that Wyvern really just wants to go on me. Okay, so I've taken care of all the forces this way. So it's my 12, my full 12, still alive, against four there and three over here. And if I'm careful, I can probably pull one without the other coming after me. But we don't want to move too far up. Because we have a lot of hurt people in the crew right now. First we're going to hear heal Elric, which is probably not the smartest move. He recovers 29 hit points. Sarah earns 18 experience points. Oh, they're coming. This is some tense business right here. Okay, that group from the north is moving as quickly as it can down on my position. So we are going to regroup to the south. And we're going to slowly let Sarah heal us. <laughs> Not that slowly, unfortunately. Because she's running out of MP. She can do one more heal, basically. May goes back up. She gets fully healed. Sarah gains 18 and levels up to 7. For a 6 uh, point gain. Not the greatest gain. Yeah, so that northern group is coming as quick as it can. And now the eastern group, Sem Smelling Blood, attacks from the east. Chester gets damaged by 24. It's on. Lizard Man, attacked by Geralt for 13 damage. Geralt gains 13 experience points. So our goal here is not to lose anybody. It's not the end of the world if we do, but... Oh, we're going to lose Chester right now, I think. Wyvern belched out flames. Blah. Damaged by 17. Chester's exhausted. Mission failed. Well, I have a feeling that Wyvern will not be hurt very much by fire, but we're going to cast Blaze 3 on it anyway. And I'm right. 8 damage. Pathetic. Slade moves back. Now May should do a lot of damage to a flying creature. And she does. 27 damage. The Wyvern's down to 11 hit points. Rick moves in for a little damage as well on the Wyvern. And takes it out. 15 damage. Wyvern was defeated. Rick earned 49 experience. Levels up to 3. HP up by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. Rick is already proving his worth as a member of the Shining Fires. Dark Sniper moves into Snipe Kazan, killing him off dead. Kazan is exhausted. So now we've lost two out of our 12. Elric 
immediately taking a reprisal shot. Boom. Dark Sniper got damaged by 12. Elric gains 12 experience points. Peter, going in to flap his wings at the Sniper. Deals 19 damage, earns 10 experience points. Summoning Apollo to hit the Lizard Man for 25 damage, thereabouts. Oh, only 22. Tyron earned 27 experience points. Jaha goes in for the kill. 12 damage. Lizard Man was defeated. Jaha levels up to 8. HP up by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. Poof. Sarah, who's almost out of healing ability, drops her last heal 1. It's going to have to be on Jaha. She patches him up for 18 hit points. Gains 10 experience herself. So we failed in not losing anybody. Oh. Tyron gets to go again. And that's more than enough to kill that Dark Sniper. He'll get one more of those in the coming battle to the north. 23 damage. Dark Sniper was defeated. He levels up to 6. HP and MP up each by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 1. Agility up by 2. Great level up. That's an 8 point level up. Poof. Rick moves up. Alright, it's fight time, y'all. Now, Geralt is wounded, so sending him in first is probably ill-advised. As is it the same with Ziggy, since he is a hero character that if he gets killed, we all lose. Slade, on the other hand, is just oozing with desire to be a sacrifice and deals 28 damage. Sorry, Second attacks were a total of 45 damage, killing the sniper and becoming level 9. HP up by 2, MP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 2, agility up by 2. That's a 9th level, or 9 point gain, and his spell goes up to level 2. Slayed. What a beast. Elric the Archer, Jaha the Baron. Not moving too quick. Peter the Phoenix going to back up. Slade. Slade is about to get hit in the face with a stick by the Dark Bishop. Does a whopping 10 damage. Sarah moving up. She doesn't have any power left to heal with. Interesting, the Lizard Man attacked to decide, decided to attack Peter. Does 19 damage. Peter still rocking. Now we're just moving everybody up with little to no regard. Uh, Rick's going to attack this Dark Bishop because it, not only do I want the healer done, I think he'd do the most damage against them. Vlad the Bunny says, Slade Craven is the man. Er, rat. Oh, Rick gets a second attack for another dirt. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty. 32 experience. I gotta be honest, definitely worth the wait on the Pegasus Knight. Slade assassinates the Dark Bishop for 17 damage, 14 experience points, but no level up. Poof. Dirty, dirty, dirty. May shoots the Lizard Man for 13, earns 7 experience points herself. The Wyvern goes in to attack Geralt. Deals 19 damage. Not enough to take him out. Jaha moves up. Can't hit the Lizard Man. Elric, on the other hand, can and drives up for a blast on him. 7 damage. Not much from Elric. Sarah tries to move up to fight and can't reach. Peter moves to the north. Shoots a tornado for 14 damage against that lizard fellow. Slade's going to actually abandon the lizard man to go attack the wyvern and deal 22 damage. Wyvern gets a counterattack of 11 on Slade. Geralt moves also to the east of the wyvern to go for a sick hug. But the wyvern quickly dodged the attack. Geralt is starting to kind of fall behind. Kind of sad about it, but... Maybe he's not the guy for uh, the force after all. 
11 damage. Lizard Man was defeated. Jaha gains 38 experience points. Oh, that Lizard Man was the the linchpin of that fight, so beating him takes out the rest. Uh, we're going to go to the next town, I guess. Oh no, that's going to just lead directly into the next fight. So we're going to go back to here and heal. And then we'll go start that fight and then save. And then probably quit. Wherever is Paramecia gone? There we go. Stumble around per, uh, pa Pacalon? Is that what this place is called? Until I find someone that can revive my guys. So I lost, what, like three guys there? I can still only buy one piece of equipment. That's really unfortunate. Chest is revived. Kazan's exhausted. Okay, well, we obviously are going to get a sword for Slade after that, uh... How that went down. What's up, boy? Oh, we can probably afford two, actually. So we'll buy a great sword for Slade. Glad the bunny says, poor Chester and Kazan. Yeah, they didn't do so good in that fight. Kazan's actually lagging behind big time. Uh, he's safe for now, because I don't think I get another wizard character for quite a while. But... Like, I think I pick up another sorcerer and another wizard, and he could get replaced by either, potentially. So, the next question is, do I want to increase Elric's weapon power, or do I want to increase Jahaz? I think the answer is Jahaz. Okay, so now we're only down one weapon, and it's Elric's. Let's go see about uh, the next fight. Glad the bunny says, May and Slade are proving their worth, though. Uh, May wasn't as impressive this round, I don't think, but she's still pretty solid. Um, she's definitely the best archer on my team, hands down. She's in no danger of being removed. Uh, I think, let's, let's have a quick look here. Ziggy has to stay. Sarah is also a keeper because she's our healer character. Um... I'm pretty committed to Jaha for now. Kazan I'm not so stoked on. Slade is staying. Remember Vlad? Uh, Peter is also staying. May is a definite keep at this point. Geralt, I think, could be pulled from the brink uh, if we, say, gave him some, some boosts. I have a bunch of item boosts that I could be using, too, to uh, make these characters a bit better. I just haven't decided who to use them on yet. Luke will do nothing. Road will do nothing. Uh, Rick has already been pretty good. I think... Uh, oh, he's got a steel lance we could have sold. That would have been smart. Elric I'm not too stoked on, but having ranged characters is really important. 
Uh, he's the man. Nope, nope. So yeah, I would say Chester Kazan and perhaps Geralt are next on the chopping blocks. Okay, well I can't go through there yet. So I must have to go to Tristan, which is in another direction. This direction. Climbing up some cliffs, and then we go over this bridge, but... Oh, I remember this fight. Wow, look at that! Look at all these worms eating this bridge. Those monsters are eating the bridge! Help! Help me! <gasps> look! She's stranded on the bridge! Get away from the bridge before it falls into the river. I sprained my ankle. Please help me. I can't stand up. Ziggy, defeat all the monsters. Hurry. <laughs> Good old Astral pushing me around. Uh, You know what, gang? We're going to take a stab at this right now. I know I said we'd uh, we'd only do three, but I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling good. Let's give it a go. If we fail, we fail. We'll save. If we make it, we make it. We'll also save. Uh, so these worms are the obviously new enemy here on the map. Uh, the bridge is going to be somewhat limited in the amount that I can move my characters across it. And as you saw, there's going to be wyverns and stuff coming at me from the sides. But let's have some fun here, guys. Let's uh, let's go for the... Oh, they've got a new monk character. And they've got some demons as well. So demons and wyverns are going to be attacking me from the side. I could send in my Pegasus Knight and Phoenix to start go messing with them. But I don't think that's wise. May moves in that way, Sarah moves in this way, and Peter the Phoenix. Lots of enemies on this bridge, though. The Lizard Man compulsively goes up to attack Chester and deals, oh, 28 damage. That's a good hit to Chester. Kazan will put himself in harm's way and probably end up getting shot by that sniper. Well, he casts Blaze 3 on the Lizard Man for 16 damage. He earns 20 experience points and does not level up. Oh, Kazan. Slade with his new sword, jump attacks for 17 damage and earns 8 experience points. Tywin could finish the Lizard Man off, but someone else really should. I'll just throw him directly into the path of combat, but instead uh, I'll move my Pegasus Knight over to attack my Dark Sniper friend here. He deals 16 damage and gains 21 experience. He gains so much experience. I love this guy. Geralt attacks the Lizard Man, hopefully doing enough to take him down. Oh, but he dodges. That's the second attack in a row that's been dodged by Geralt. Vlad the Bunny says battle at Big Bridge. That's right, buddy. It's Final Fantasy's favorite uh, bridge battle. Chester will get out from under the yoke of that lizard man and huck a spear for 18 at the incoming demon. He'll level up to 6, 2 HP, 1 attack, 2 defense, and 1 agility. Since we don't want to forget about the lizard man, though. We're going to take him out with Bowie, or Ziggy, I should say. I went the whole stream without calling him Bowie. Ziggy becomes level 9, HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 3. Dank. Agility up by 1. Poof. Lizard Man is out of the battle. 
The Dark Sniper goes in to shoot Chester, because of course they would. 14 damage, Chester's down to 9. Oh, Dark Sniper gets a second attack, and Chester is exhausted. Oh, Chester. May will counter with a pot shot at the Dark Sniper. Dealing 24 damage, Dark Sniper is defeated. That's a lot of damage. Poof. Oh. Wow. Lesser Demon flies past all of my guys to attack Elric of all characters. The reason I'm particularly surprised about that is because he could have done... Oh, look at that. Peter flew in front of the uh, HP placard. Uh, he could have cast Blaze 3 and damaged like four or five of my guys easily and then didn't. Lesser Demon takes 26 damage. Lesser Demons are already pathetic experience-wise to uh, Mighty Peter. So I think in order to insta-win this fight, I just need to take out the four worms. Not that I really like insta-winning these fights. I want the experience for killing all the enemies. Vlad the Bunny says, too bad we can't have that epic music. It is good music on Big Bridge. Um, this game actually has pretty fun music if you're into like that era of JRPG music. Um, I turn it off so you can hear my melodic voice and, uh, you know, we can have some discussion, but as people have mentioned in the Baldur's Gate stream, uh, sometimes it might be nice to hear the music and sounds of the actual game rather than my dulcet tones. I'm also not really clear on if you're allowed to have, like, copyrighted music from the games on internet streams, so that's another reason I muted it early. It would make sense that you could... But who knows? This game was, I think, made by the company that went on to be Atlas, and they're weird about streaming. Probably not so much with Shining Force 2, which is a dinosaur of a game. But there was that big uh, hoopla about people streaming uh, the plot from Persona 5, and then they clamp down on it. Oh, here we go. Wyvern's coming up to attack Rick. Oh, belching flames on him for 16 damage. That hurts. Gerald can't do anything except watch. So watch he will. Uh, Ziggy also can't do anything but watch. We have to start spacing at our guys on the bridge here because uh, we're likely to get Blaze 3 would can I hit anybody with... No. That's kind of the Achilles heel with uh, the Sorcerer, is they can't really hit very far with their uh, spells. I'm going to have Slade attack this one. Uh, no, that feels like a trap, so I'm not going to do it. Not yet. May to the rescue, taking a shot at the Wyvern. Boom. Look at that damage. 28. 24 experience points to May. She levels up to 10. HP up by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. You know, I, I gotta take my hat off to May a little bit here because I really thought that she was gonna get cut from the team early this time. Lesser Demon deals 21 damage to Rick, who manages to survive, but might not if he keeps uh, getting hit. Worm attacks Geralt for 29 damage. They hit very hard, and if I remember correctly, have a lot of defense. I'm going to pull Rick back and huck a spear at the Wyvern for 15, which is not enough to take out the Wyvern. Uh, Rick might die here. I don't think I can maneuver Elric into shooting the Wyvern, so I'll shoot this lesser demon instead. Bang. 21 damage. Elric earns 10 experience points. Oh, no. OK. 
Can I reach him with heal three? Yes. Okay. Geralt could also use a heal three, so this is kind of too bad, but I'd really rather Rick survive. Rick recovers 37 hit points and won't die. Kalu Kalei. Now, on to the business of fighting this worm. Jaha, with his new sword, does 21 damage, earns 18 experience points. Peter flies in to take out the lesser demon so it can't kill us with Blaze 3. He gains 25, or does 25 damage, but only gains one experience point. Poof. Master Monk. Lesser demon moves away from me, curiously enough. I guess it knows what's coming. Kazan with the Blaze 3. Dropping fireballs onto a bridge. Probably not a great idea, but whatever. Uh, the game doesn't care. There was no physics in video games back then. Looks like Rick's going to polish off this Wyvern. Thump. 13 damage. Wyvern in this defeated Wyvern. Rick becomes level 4, HP up by 2, defense up by 2, agility up by 1, no attack increase. That's kind of too bad. Geralt goes for the hug on the worm. He does a critical hit for 22 damage. Worm was defeated. 49 experience points. Doesn't level up. Poor Geralt. Okay, not bad. I got a lesser demon to the east still, and a wyvern. And I think there's yet another wyvern to the west as well. And another demon. Okay, so we've still got four flyers that we have to worry about. There's still three worms and a small contingency of other enemies at the bottom. But we're, we're winning this handily. As long as we don't just send characters off to die, we should be fine. Keep to the west side of the bridge. Uh, we'll use Sarah to heal Geralt. I've only lost Chester so far. Geralt recovers 29 hit points. Would be nice to get a level with Geralt. Hmm. Okay, we can't reach the demon. Don't really know what that demon's waiting for. Okay, Wyvern's coming right at us, attacking Geralt. Oh, nice. Geralt dodges the attack. May will take a shot at the Wyvern. Bang, 25 damage. She earns 16 experience points. We'll send Bowie in to do some damage, too. Oh, I called him Bowie again. 21 damage. Plus 25 damage, in fact. 50 experience points for Ziggy, but he doesn't level up either. You just can't have nice things, son of Stapes. Slade goes in for the attack on the next worm. He deals 20 damage, gains 13 experience points. Rick, kind of lagging behind, flies in next to Peter. Tyron. Oh, no. The other worm moves up. Oh, they hit so hard. 28 damage to Slade. If that other worm gets an attack before him, he's probably done for. Jaha moves in to hit the worm that just joined the fight for 22 damage. He becomes level 9. HP up by 2. Attack up by 1. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. Uh, Elric moves in. Takes a shot at the worm. We have to remember Elric is not rocking the strongest weapon that he possibly could be, so he only deals 13 damage. I have to remember that demon on my left flank or my right flank. Master Monk casts heal level three. Heals that worm back up to full. That Master Monk is gonna be a problem. I don't think 
like I can heal Slade from this distance, and it doesn't matter anyway because he's about to die. Slade got damaged by 34. Slade is exhausted. Ouch. And here comes the demon to blaze three, my back line. Boom. Ziggy got damaged by not much. Sarah got damaged by enough. And Geralt got damaged by 16. Peter moves in to take down this worm, hopefully. Yep, 22 damage. Worm was defeated. Peter earns 45 experience levels up to 10. HP up by 3. Attack up by 2. Defense up by 2. Agility up by 1. That worm is defeated. Rick maneuvers around to throw a spear at the lesser demon, damaging it for 16. He earns 20 experience points. And I'm pretty happy about it. Tyron, who hasn't done anything all fight, is going to drop a Apollo cast on this demon and take it out, I hope. Yes. Damaged by 28. Lesser demon defeated. Tyron earns 49 experience points, but doesn't level up. That's got to be the phrase I say the most on this uh, Shining Force stream. As I talk about how characters don't level up, and I'm disappointed about it. Now, I've committed a bit of that cardinal sin of moving Ziggy out, uh, basically to die. But luckily, the worm realizes that Geralt is lower and attacks him instead. And Geralt is a master dodger, so he dodges the attack. Kazan moves in to soften the worm up a bit more with Blaze 3. Kazan's seen a lot more combat this fight, which is nice, but he still hasn't leveled up until now. Level 5. HP up by 1, MP up by 1, attack up by 1, defense up by 1, agility up by 2, muddle increased by 2. That was a 6 point level up, so I should be happier about it, but I'm just not. I could be unhappier about it. Uh, that worm did just attack, so we're not gonna. We're instead gonna attack the Master Monk with Peter, because I don't want that son of a bee healing anybody. Peter is more or less a, a free character, right? So why not send him to go harass people like monks? Critical hit from Jaha. 28 damage. Master Monk is down. 49 experience points. Shazamo. Copyright. Son of Stapes. May moves in to send a assault shell down that worm's pipe. 24 damage. Worm was defeated. May earns 30 experience and gains 440 gold. Elric can't move in to hit anybody, so he just moves in a little bit. Now, I don't know. I guess I should heal. She doesn't really need to heal three on him. Oh, or she'll just do nothing. Wizard moves up to hit Peter in the face with a stick for 12 damage. Probably not the wizard's smartest move. Now, there's still enemies on the side of me, aren't there? Yep, here comes a wyvern to attack Geralt. And it gets him. 29 damage. That's my fault. I should have healed Geralt. I should have healed anybody. Uh, Ziggy moves in to hit the Wyvern for 24 damage, and he levels up to 10, HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 3, agility up by 1. Good enough. Rick moves in to also attack the Wyvern. He deals 13 damage, gains 14 experience points. Tyron can't reach the Wyvern to damage it further. Dark Soldier moves in to hit Jaha, thankfully creating a bunker that the other enemies cannot reach my guys from. A chokehold, if you will, or choke point. Peter does 31 damage to Wizard. Whatever I'm saying doesn't matter. We send Mei in to snipe the Wizard just to make sure that he doesn't pull any shenanigans and do a lot of damage next turn. Basically punishing him for using a melee attack. Oh, and that won the entire fight. 
Phew, that was close. Thank you very much. Excuse me, will you help me up? Meh, no, I'll do it. We'll take you with us. Tristan is the nearest town. I think you'd better rest there. Thank you, sir. You sure are being nice. Hmm. Anyway, Tristan's just over there. Let's go. Ziggy, Peter. What? Don't you want to go to Tristan? Oh, I do, but... We shouldn't go to Tristan right now. Why not? Because of me. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Are you a devil? I'm one of the leaders of the devil army. My name is Camila. What do you want? Ziggy, I came here to get your jewel of evil. Zeon told us to bring it to the ancient tower. He didn't mention you. Good for you, Astral. Don't be pushed around by lackeys. And since we've never heard of you, you're not getting the jewel. No, his orders were... If Zeon finds out, you will be. He'll forgive me when I bring him the jewel. Enough talking. Hand the jewel over. In return, I'll spare Sir Astral. Do you want me to kill this old man? I'm kind of all over the place with her voice. I'm sorry about that. Vlad the Bunny says, That wizard had some balls just attacking with a stick when there was he was a linchpin enemy. Right? Like, I, I was even just talking about how you don't send your main guy in to just get slaughtered. The jewel can't be removed from Ziggy's neck. Do you really think that you can kill me? Of course. Wah! Whoops. Well done, you dodged my fireball. What a surprising old wizard. I didn't think I could obtain the jewel that easily. Haha, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Ziggy, keep it for a while. And then she runs across the bridge. Wait! Be careful of Gasp and Zalbard. Ah, she's gone. Okay, Ziggy, let's go to Tristan. Would you please explain what just happened? You don't know? Everything here was set up by Camilla. It was a trap to get the Jewel of Evil. Your fireball, as if you knew she was from the beginning. Yes, I did. Her evil aura was apparent. By the way, did you hear what she said? They're all acting on their own, ignoring Zeon's orders. It will be dangerous. We must be careful. So, in case it's not clear, that means that his lieutenants are all just trying to do their own thing. And attack poor Ziggy. Ah, here we are in uh, Tristran. Tristan's ruled by the goddess Matula. So, we have no king. Good to know. Devils, they'd better not come to Permesia, as long as Machula and Valkanen are watching. But they're already here, you silly bird people. Uh, items for sale? What do you got? That's just straight items. And do you sell weapons? You do. Ooh, another axe. Chrome lance, which means it's probably a better weapon than the spears we've been using. Look at that price tag, 69,000 monies. Uh, we can afford one item, once again. Uh, we need two chrome lances. We still need a great shot for Elric, and we now need a brass knuckles for Sarah. Well, we're going to get her a Brass Knuckles for sure. Uh, we should probably go resurrect our guys before we go selling their gear. Uh, 
So here we are in Tristan. Uh, who's this turtly fellow? It hasn't rained here lately? No kidding. Everything is okay as long as Machula is here. Yeah, I don't know about you, that. It doesn't really seem so good, even with Machula. But what do I know? Welcome, your desire will be fulfilled. Oh, Chester's exhausted. I think just Chester and Geralt got uh, exhausted in that last fracas. Oh, no, Slade as well. Goodbye, money. Okay, we are going to save, but I'm just going to try to go see if I can afford another another weapon. It would be really nice if we could get Elric his uh, shot. Because then we'd just be missing the Great Lances for the new characters. Or the Chrome Lances, I should say. And I'm not that sad about that, because um, I prefer the spear functionality and range. But let's see. Whose item do we want to sell? Well, we can get rid of this power glove. And... Uh, we can get rid of Rick's old steel lance for 607 gold coins. And finally, if we just sell the assault shell, we should be able to afford it. And that's that. So, I mean, again, there's Indra staffs we could buy, but really the only thing we're missing are the Chrome Lances. Two of them, which I'm not going to shell the money out for. Anyway, guys, we're going to go save, and that's going to be the end of my stream. I'm uh, glad I could actually get another fourth battle in there for you, and I'm even happier that I didn't lose at all this week. Uh... I'm Son of Stapes, and I really appreciate everyone coming out and checking my stream. If you like what I do, uh, I do a narrated featured RPG every Tuesday from 6 to 10, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, right now we're in the middle of Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. And uh, if you've never played it, the next couple weeks of Baldur's Gate 2 should be pretty interesting. Uh, we're about to get to probably the most fun parts of the story in the game. Uh, anyway, I really, really appreciate you guys following me, and uh, if anyone else wants to, come on back next Tuesday, and we'll play some more games. You might see me before then, too. Who am I to say? Take care, guys. See you next Tuesday.